guys, welcome back to the Buchanan family. Today it is Tuesday and I've been for my shop because obviously that's what I do on a Tuesday and literally I spend like, I was going to say I spend hours, I hardly spend hours. <laughs> um, but I spent my early afternoon at Lidl today and Morrison's. I had to go to Morrison's to get some things that I knew they didn't stock in Lidl. So I just went straight to Morrison's. Oh, here's a door closing. Take it, they don't want to hear me. <laughs> because they're watching TV. I think they're watching Magic School Bus. Um, but yeah, so I had to go to Morrison's before I went to Lidl. So I picked up a few things in there and I will point it out to you. And I also, the reason I went to Morrison's in particular was because it's kind of near Lidl and it has a chemist in it and I had a prescription to put in. So I put my prescription in, went and got the couple of things I needed and then picked the prescription up and then went to Lidl. But yeah, so today I did spend, what did I spend? I spent about 60 five pound in Lidl I think it was. I'm super good with memory and it's about five pound in Morrison so let me show you. Apologise for this weird light it's very dark outside and the light is on like in my kitchen but it's kind of it's kind of weird looking today and also my hair was nice this morning and then I went out in this crazy rain and now I've got these I don't know what these are. <laughs> but yeah so let me show you what I got and that's about it. <laughs> I do feel like I physically got a lot of stuff today and by the way guys, oh, I told you about this last week in my video, this is a Pressure King Pro which is an electric pressure cooker, pretty much identical to an instant pot, oh my gosh guys that is the best thing, best cooking thing I have ever, ever bought in my life, honestly. Not sponsored, not selling you them, but seriously guys, and you could buy all different brands of them, but it is amazing. Honestly, I made so many good things in it. I made risotto in it in like six minutes. I made macaroni cheese in it. Swear to God, in five minutes for macaroni cheese, that blows my mind, blows my mind. Including the sauce for macaroni cheese, like I didn't have to stand at the hob and make a roux and then add the milk and blah 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 blah. No, it didn't happen like that. All in an instant pot was insane. I call it an instant pot, I know it's a pressure king pro. But yeah, so that is getting used several times this week. So here's my overview. These are the things I bought from Morrisans and I shall tell you about them as we get to them. And you might be like, Paula, what? Rusks? For a baby? Are you having a baby? Well, first of all, no, I'm not having a baby. Second of all, if I was pregnant, I probably wouldn't buy rusks <laughs> at this point of my non-existent pregnancy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I will, I'll tell you about that in a minute, but I'm definitely not pregnant. <laughs> and then over here, so let's start over here, as always, with our fruits and vegetables. Got two cucumbers, I got a bag of, these are easy peelers. They do have satsumas as well, which are cheaper. I would tend to buy the cheaper thing, but they're all squishy. So I don't buy them. And they were squishy last week as well. And then a bag of organic bananas, some Granny Smith apples, some Braeburn apples. That is like the same apples I buy every time I go shopping. That's just what the kids like. So I don't mind, you know, mixing it up a little bit, but I know fine well they really like them, so I buy them. Some baby spinach and a punnet of red seedless grapes. Got some green beans, some, I don't know what's wrong with me today, <laughs> some little gem lettuce and a bag of frozen peas. I got this tub of butter, well it's not, it's not pure butter, it is a spread um, and it's kind of like Lurk Pack, Dan Pack and it's like exactly the same packaging colours. Um, but yeah that's the kind of idea behind that, it's pretty nice guys, One net nine for that and Lurk Pack for that size is like 350 or something, bargain. So bargain for that, not for 350. <laughs> then I got some ginger. I don't normally buy ginger. Don't know if the kids are gonna like it. They've never had fresh ginger, so we shall see. But this bit of ginger was only 18 pence. I was thinking, ooh, I might just buy the ginger. It's like lazy garlic, but it's ginger, so it comes in a jar and vinegar. But no, this was only 18 pence. I was like, hmm. And the reason, if I can remember to swallow. <laughs> the reason that I was put off buying the garlic in the glass jar was because it was in shreds, like long, like julienne pieces. So I would still need to cut it up. So I was like, well, I might as well, do you know what I mean? Just peel this and grate this if I'm at it. <laughs> but I'm going to need to cut stuff anyway. And this was only 18 pence. And the jar, which is the same size as the 
garlic. I'll show you what size that is. Let me see, where are you? There you are. This size, it's that size, and it's 99 pence. So, and I got that for 18 pence for that piece. But yeah, that's a long story short, or short story long. And then we got some wafer thin smoked ham. This is the no added water one. They do this one and then they do like it's, it doesn't say smoked ham, it says cooked ham, but the smoked ham one has so much flavour. I don't like smoked bacon, I always buy unsmoked bacon, but this, honestly, this one is just so good. Then I got some turkey mince. I love how it says turkey lean mince. <laughs> Instead of lean turkey mince. Do you know what I mean? That's weird. I'm making a, like, ravioli lasagna tray bake type thing that I've been meaning to make for ages and I've just not got around to it so I'm going to make that this week. Then I got two packets of the mini chicken breast fillets and normally I would just buy like a kilo but actually it's cheaper to buy these individually than what it is to buy the cheap the kilo so I bought them. <laughs> and then I bought two steaks, this is for me and Thomas. The kids don't love steak, it's very, it is very meaty, do you know what I mean? Like it's got a very meaty taste that explains things very very well that's a little dog that i'm watching kiki she is so funny um if nobody talks to her she barks like that <laughs> it's like a wee yelp um but i'm making a noodle dish for me and thomas tonight so the kids are going to have a late lunch and me and thomas are going to have that and then they'll have their packed lunch dinner at sky swimming and me and thomas will have that when we come home i got some of these fat free greek style lemon yogurts these are gail's favorites he picked these and some chocolate mousses, and a big block of mature white cheddar. And I just got one packet of the fruity fromage fraise. And then I got this cheese, it was kind of like, not in like a, it wasn't a special, I didn't even have a price, so I don't even know how much it was. Um, but it wasn't with the regular cheese, it was in the fridge where they kind of put like, their, their temporary things, their special things that they don't always stock. And it is sliced pepper jack cheese. I know Thomas will love this, because he loves pepper. The kids, not so much, but Thomas will, Thomas will love it. I'm sure of it. So I've just picked up a pack of that. And then some Frankfurters to make hot dog octopuses. I shared that in a vlog. And I also shared it on Instagram on our story. So if you don't follow us guys on Instagram, you really should because you're missing out on all these behind the scene kind of things. And more, if you want to see us more, then you can see us more on there. What's wrong, puppy? What's wrong? I'm trying to make a vlog. I'm trying to make a vlog. No, 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 no come on. <laughs> and then we got, what did we get here? Two packets of these mini wraps. I got some double cream. We're making butter chicken this week. So I got that for that. Some reduced fat coleslaw, some sausages to make breakfast wraps and some soft cheese. So what I will do with these is I will squeeze the sausage meat that looks delicious um <laughs> squeeze the sausage meat out of the sausages and fry it in a frying pan like dry fry it. i don't put any oil in with it and then scramble my eggs with it and then put that inside these little wraps so this is eight pork sausages and i'll do about six eggs and that'll fill up probably night i'll go for nine wraps because then there's three for the kids for three days and they just love them. They're so easy and you just, I just put them in the fridge. I was putting them in the freezer, but I've only made three days worth. So I make it on the first day and they eat it. And then the next two days they're just in the fridge and we just reheat them for like a minute in the microwave. And I put some cheese in it too. They love it. Go with our butter chicken. I got two packets of these garlic and coriander naan breads. They also do mini naan breads, but actually get more for your money if you buy the big ones. So me and Thomas will have a naan each and then Sky will probably have a full nan and the boys will split one and I got some corn flour and so yeah onto these infamous rusks. Sky always asks for rusks guys always and I'm like I'm not buying you rusks they're for babies. If you don't know rusks are kind of like a weird biscuit like but you give it to babies and you mix it with milk or you can eat it like a biscuit like a cookie it is weird. I don't know guys right tell me if you know more about rusks but anyway sky bought some the other day with her own pocket money if you've seen the vlog her own no i don't think you guys have seen that vlog yet i think that's tomorrow's vlog but with her own pocket money she bought a single packet of rusks this is like a double pack and her and her girl absolutely adore them adore them so when we were in little today and her girl seen this big packet he put two big packets in the trolley when i wasn't looking and then obviously i turned around and i seen them and i was like eh wee man what are you doing with those rusks so he said, please, can we just buy one packet, mum? And I said, right, okay, 
one packet so I've been somehow talked into buying rusks for my old children not for babies and then some macaroni to make my macaroni an instant pot again then you'll be like but you bought more macaroni yes I know boys love this Sky loves it too they just it's a very quick only takes a couple of minutes to make almost as much just a little bit less than the instant pot one but it only takes a few minutes to make guys and they love it like they wolf it down like there's I don't know, they just will fit down. <laughs> then I got two packets of these Scottish organic eggs. I always get two because straight away I'm going to use one for the breakfast wraps. And then the other one, we have like scrambled eggs during the week. We have, me and Thomas have scrambled eggs and chorizo last night. It was so good. Um, Thomas likes hard boiled eggs, so does Sky. So sometimes I think, man, I should really buy three packets of eggs. Because we go through a lot of eggs sometimes. And I've seen these little things they don't always have these these are like the mini packs of cereal and it, you get eight different kinds in it so they've got cookies nugget pillows or nougat i would say nugget golden puffs frosted flakes chocolate shells chocolate pillows chocolate rice and then some sort of tiger i don't know what the tiger is <laughs> and then i got a loaf of wholemeal bread they had these in their halloween section these are more bonfire night hence the fireworks these are toffee apple slices from mr kipling six for a pound which is kind of the price you would pay in a major supermarket like morrison's or sainsbury's or something when they're on offer i think they tend to be like 150 when they're not on offer but yeah so these were 99 pence for six i'm going to put one of them in their pack lunch tonight so i got this stuff from morrison's this is tahini this is light tahini they didn't have not light tahini i don't know if it's light on flavor like not as strong or light on calories i don't know but that's all they had so that's what i bought and then some sesame seeds and some hoisin sauce and then i got two packets of these udon noodles i'm making a recipe from a wagamama cookbook that i won on a tombola at the swimming at the weekend <laughs> and Oban was heartbroken because he's like it was him that won it and he's obviously didn't want to win a cookbook but i was like oh a wagamama cookbook thank you Oban. and one of the recipes in it um i'm gonna i'm gonna do one well, i'm actually gonna do two this week so this is udon noodles and i got two packets because it's for all of us so i think they will go down quite well and then i got these medium egg noodles for another recipe from it that me and thomas are going to have tonight and they were from morrison's they were like a pound each and these were in these aren't morrison's brand these were kind of like the more these were in like the kind of world food section and they were much cheaper than the morrison's udon noodles like a branded one from morrison's or another brand i can't remember but these were much much cheaper so definitely if you have like a world food section and you're looking for that kind of thing i did look for tahini there couldn't see it um or hoisin they didn't have any other hoisins i buy things like this more from the asian supermarket where we live it's called cebu in glasgow they do really big bottles of stuff that i just i love buying and it's so authentic um but these these will be fine but you can probably buy stuff like this cheaper in the Asian supermarket. I've never looked at Udon noodles before in Cebu, but probably much cheaper and more authentic. But I'm sure they were delicious. And the kids picked these fruit split ice lollies. I don't know why they call them splits, as in like they don't split. And then we got some cheese thin crackers. The kids love these, they could eat these all day. Two tins of evaporated milk, one for my mac and cheese. I will maybe share that recipe in a video one time if I get around to it, because you guys know what I'm like. <laughs> And recipe videos don't do so great on this channel, so maybe not. Who knows? Maybe I'll include it in a vlog. Um, but you need that. Just one tin. So I got two because it's always good to have one handy. And then I've got a carton of orange juice and a carton of orange and mango juice. The kids really, really like nuts. So I got them this week a bag of roasted and salted peanuts. I don't know if the boys... I think the boys have had peanuts a couple of times. They like cashews and pistachios. But I got them some peanuts this week you get such a big bag of peanuts for such a cheap price compared to like cashews or pistachios and then this guy picked these garlic crackers she was like please can we get these garlic crackers they apparently love them and i was like yeah sure they're crackers go ahead and then i got these cream crackers me and thomas if you watched the vlog again i think it's the vlog well you might have seen that vlog yeah i think you've seen that vlog i think it was yesterday's vlog blah, blah, blah. me and thomas had crackers and chili cheese and some onion and garlic chutney it was delicious but i thought we chose his own crackers which were more expensive than these ones and they were like their value essential ones and man they were pretty like they had no flavor i don't even know if we have them left yeah we do have them left they're way up there um but they had 
no flavor. I wanted to show you the color difference. They were so, so light. Whereas I've had these before. The kids have had these before. And these have lots and lots of flavor. And they're only 40 pence. So I said to Thomas, wow, they do not taste as good as the little ones. And then non-food stuff. I got two pack of toothbrushes for the boys. I am sure, you guys can maybe tell me if you watch our vlogs. But I am sure I picked up a packet of these. And I cannot find them anywhere. Like a couple of weeks ago, can't find them. I've hunted this house and can't find them. And obviously now I've bought some, I will they will magically appear. <laughs> but that and that's just the way it is. What is that? They say sod's law. Um but yeah, I'm sure they will appear. So but that's okay because they don't go out of date, so that'll be fine. And then I got this to try. This is cocoa butter body lotion. Um it says it's non-greasy for dry skin. It smells really good. It smells like um a body shop cocoa butter range. I wonder if they still do that. I used to work in the body shop guys when I was really young. <laughs> that was a good job. I liked it in there, but it smells exactly like their cocoa butter range smelled if they still have it. And then a packet of multivitamins or what is this? This isn't a packet plastic jar <laughs> some cotton buds some conditioner for sky swim bag because she goes through conditioner like me way faster than shampoo and then some toilet wipes for the bathroom and that is your lot guys that's my vlog and this has been quite a long vlog because or quite a long haul because i feel like i got quite a lot of stuff so i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up as i said in last week's vlog it really helps us out if you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment it could be any kind of comment you want it really really helps us out guys so it's just a way to help us out i guess i'm so original <laughs> today's comment of the day shall be on the screen if you want to be commenting on the day tomorrow you've got to leave a really good comment in the comments below and it could be you in tomorrow's video that gets your name and lights and your comment and lights so make sure you leave one guys and i will see you tomorrow bye Hi.